In this video, we will show you how to set up and use the recipe feature of Factory Talk Optics. Recipes are objects where you can store different configurations of variables. The recipe is always made using a set of variables or using objects like a motor with specific values contained within the object. For this video, we will use a simple project which is similar to the ones used in previous Getting Started videos. Nevertheless, you will be able to easily follow the steps. First, we will add a panel or screen to our application that will display the recipe editor at runtime. In the project view, navigate to the UI folder and select My Panels. Right click to open the context sensitive menu, select New, My Panels, and then Panel underscore template to add a new panel based on an existing one. Now we will rename our new panel to Recipe. Any recipe requires a location to store the data. For this reason, we have to create a new data store. Navigate to data stores. You can use one of your existing ones again, or you can create a new one. Right click to open the context sensitive menu, select new, then select embedded database. Rename it to db underscore recipe. We recommend creating a new database. This will provide a better database structure for your project. The other data stores option of OBBC database will be explained in another video. Now we can go to the recipes folder and create a new recipe schema. Open the context sensitive menu with a right click, select new, then recipe schema. On the right side, you'll see the properties. Here we must insert our data storage. Select your newly created database, db underscore recipe, and drag and drop it to the store field. Also contained within properties, you will see the target node field. This requires another object, and for this purpose, we will create a new object. Go back to the project view, select model, Right click to open the context sensitive menu, select new, then object to create a new object. This object will contain our variables for the recipe. Let's rename it motor1. Now we must configure this object so that it contains multiple variables. We have two possibilities for how to do this. The first way is to select the motor1 object. Open the context sensitive menu with the right mouse click, select new, all, model, and variable. This will add a variable to this motor object, which you will see on the right side. Let's rename it temperature. Our motor will be described by two variables, temperature and revolutions per minute or RPM. The second way to add a variable is very easy. Navigate to the add new icon and simply select variable, rename the new variable RPM. Once this is done, we can go back to the recipe schema. Select recipe schema one to open its properties, which you will see on the right side, now we can drag and drop the motor one object to the target node field. We will now open the editor for the recipe schema by double clicking on the small icon to the right side of recipe schema one. We can now select the temperature and RPM variables, which are needed in our recipe schema. Click on Apply to complete the schema configuration. You can store more than one recipe in a single recipe schema. Maybe you want to change the values of the recipe, or you want to switch between different configurations, or maybe you want to create new ones at runtime. To manage the recipe at runtime, we need an on-screen editor for this recipe. We will now go back to our recipe screen. Open our library. Navigate to Widgets, locate the Recipes Editor, and drag and drop it to our screen.
position the recipe editor on your screen as desired. Now we have to connect the editor to the correct recipe schema. To do this, drag and drop the recipe schema one recipe schema to the node ID field. To make the editor suitable for the recipe, we need to run the recipe editor setup. Right click Recipes Editor 1 to open the context sensitive menu and select Execute Setup. You will see the editor automatically filled with the temperature and RPM variables we created earlier. Now let's make sure that we will be able to navigate to and open our recipe panel at runtime. Drag and drop the recipe panel to the navigation panel. That is all that is required to configure navigation. Now let's run the emulator to see the results of our configuration. Navigate to the recipe tab to open the recipe screen. If it is not already open, you will see the two variables of the motor object. Type test1 in the recipe name field and press enter. Change recipe values and click save to save them to test1. You can create an additional recipe called test2, making sure you press enter each time to save the new recipe. Change the values, save the changes, and then you can switch between both recipes. If you would like to load the values, then you have to select the recipe and click on Apply.